Hi guys, here we are, 203 Pawn Court, here in Jacksonville. Alright, it's not in southwest Jacksonville, it's more towards um, Richlands area, it's over here by uh, uh, Rock Creek Golf Course. Um, beautiful home, you're at the end of a cul-de-sac. Okay. So you got uh, four homes right here on, on this cul-de-sac. Nice homes, very, very, very quiet neighborhood. Um, the home is three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,702 square feet. Home was built in 2002, and it sits on 0.72 acres. So this is a bigger lot than um, the Roosevelt house. Um, so it's, it's in a big pie shape. So um, at your driveway is the, is the point of your, uh, your pie shaped lot and it, and it, and it extends out um, probably to that fence over to there. And then it probably runs along their fence over here. Now your neighbors over here have a big swimming pool. So that's a score. All right, big uh, two-car garage. Um, the thing that I, the issue that I have with the house though, is that it's, it says that it's a, a, a three-bedroom, two-bathroom home with a bonus room over the garage. Um, the issue is that bedrooms two and three have an archway in between them, so it's just one big room. Um, I'll show it to you here in just a second, but um, like the house, uh, I know there's a downfall that there is no fenced-in backyard, but we can um, you know, get a fence, uh, fence put up, okay? Nice size porch. Okay. Home is very well maintained. Um, it looks really, really good. Flooring looks good. All right. So you do have some tile foyer entrance way here. And then you have a carpet for your living room. All right. Gas log fireplace. Um, big window in the front. All right. But, uh, but a nice size living room. A ceiling fan. All right, go over here. You go through the door. You have a half bath on the right. Okay. Then you have your kitchen. All right. You do have a pantry. Okay. Um, and then the refrigerator is really your only stainless steel appliance in here, okay? I'm not exactly sure how this thing works. Um, you know, you could got a little reach-in door here for the refrigerator, so you don't have to keep opening and closing the door. Um, but it does need, the refrigerator does need cleaned. Um, you, they're not granite countertops. The rest of the appliances are white. Okay, dishwasher over here. But at least this home has the dishwasher, has the microwave, Okay, I think that's a um, old uh, stainless or a cast iron sink. All right, have your dining area here. Um, you got uh, plenty of room to put a table in here. Okay, around the corner right here is the laundry room. Okay, dark blue walls. All right. And then this is the garage. Okay. Nice size garage. Hot water tank. It looks old, but it looks like it's in decent shape. Okay. Built in shelf stay. Okay. Then I like this part right here um, is your screened in back porch. Okay. Um, it's a good uh, probably 12 feet by 20 feet maybe. So it's a nice size back deck. It's completely screened in. <clears throat> Give you a little view of the yard here. We'll go out here in just a second. I want to show you upstairs first. All right. But give you a little bit of an idea. Okay, 
Got the little shed out here that I do not have a key to, so I can't show you the inside. Um, but if you're interested in this house, then I'll get a hold of the uh, the seller's real estate agent and see if we can get in there and take a look at that, okay? Um, all right, so you're outside of city limits here, so you are on a septic system, okay? Um, you have municipal water, uh, so you don't have, a, you're, not, you're not on well water, so you have good water. I'm not saying well water is bad water, but... All right, we'll go upstairs and take a look at the uh, the bedrooms, and I'll show you what I mean about the um, the two bedrooms that have the archway that makes one big room. Okay, we'll go upstairs. Carpet looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, needs vacuumed and, and maybe uh, steam cleaned, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Now there's a little hole right here in the wall, and I don't know if that was from a cable or something like that that was supposed to come out, or they actually accidentally uh, poked a hole in the wall. All right, so you're gonna get to the top of the steps now. You can take a left and you go to the other three bedrooms and the spare bath or the, the guest bathroom is right here around the corner, okay? We're gonna take a right first and this is the bonus room above the garage. Very, very big room. All right, not sure what the uh, paint scheme is about, but it looks okay. It looks like they did a good job. Like the area over here window has its own ceiling fan couch tv little lounge area um all right so both of these little doors here um go to storage space in your attic okay so you have a little room in here to to store whatever you need to um, store um you know uh, christmas decorations or holiday decorations um you know winter winter clothes Whatever you guys want to store in there. We got another one over here. Okay. Over this one. This has your uh, your HVAC um, air air handler in here. Okay. But you still have some storage in here, storage room in there. So. All right. Go down the hallway. Like I said, first uh, where you got the steps to go downstairs. First door on the left is your guest bathroom. Uh, very nice bathroom, very clean, very well, well maintained. Okay. Standard shower tub. All right. We go down here, your next left is going to be the master. Big bedroom, probably 12 by 15. Like I said, these measurements are, are guesstimates. I don't have a tape measure with me, but you know, after doing this while, I'm pretty close. 12 by 15, big room. Your walk-in closet. Okay. It's not as big as some walk-in closets that I've seen, but still a walk-in closet. Bigger than my closet at my house. All right. And then this is your master bathroom. All right. Single sink. Mirror. Light fixture. All right. You got a window out here. It overlooks the front of the house. Okay. All right. But nice size master bedroom. Okay. All right. You do have two linen closets up here. One right here. And then you got the uh, the two, the bedroom and the bedroom. And then you have another linen closet over here. Okay. Now, these are the two bedrooms right here that have an archway in the middle. So you should have one bedroom and two bedrooms to make up the three bedrooms counting the master and then with the bonus room over the garage, okay? My issue is this right here, is that when you walk into this bedroom, it looks nice, got a closet, and then you have an archway that goes into the other bedroom, okay? So this is the other bedroom, closet, closet, there's the door to the bedroom, and then you got the archway right there that goes into the other bedroom. All right? So, that's the strange part about the house. Let's go check out the backyard real quick. Um, and I'll explain some things to you out there as far as you got some power lines that, that do run through the backyard. But it's a beautiful lot. Um, 
I like the uh, what they got going on out here. They got enough room. But like I said, I think that you guys are going to want to put up a fence because of the pets. But um, but I don't think that would be an issue. Um, you could probably just just fence off this side over here and have plenty of room for um, uh, pets to run around. Okay, they do have this retaining wall over here with this tree. Um, it looks pretty good. It looks in good shape. I don't think there's any kind of missing blocks, um, anything like that. It looks really good. I don't know what that thing is down there with, um, by the orange bucket, but I can find out. They got a nice little fire pit over here. Got a nice big tree here. It has great shade. All right, they had something right here, but they removed it. I'm not sure what it is, but I can find that out. Um, you got your two AC units. One will do the uh, one will control the temperature for the downstairs. One will control the temperature for the upstairs. Okay. And then you got over here to the side of the house. Beautiful rose bush over here. Okay. But as far as the house, house looks like it's in great shape. Um, like I said, you know, your your property probably runs along that fence right there. Okay, and then you probably own back into those woods quite a bit. Uh, 0.72 acres is a pretty big lot. Fire pit. Okay, and like I said, the, the neighbors have a nice big pool. Okay, here's what I wanted to show you guys out here in this backyard is the power line set up here they got going on. Okay, I don't know if you can see the power lines that run through there. Power lines, okay. But if you go over here, because we're going to look back this way. You go over here, and you can see the whole power line row going all the way back. Okay? I don't know how well you can see that in the video. But, uh, let's walk up here a little bit. So, yeah, there's like, a, it looks like there's a pathway that goes down into there. There might be a creek down there. Okay? Give you a better idea what we're looking at here. I mean, but you could probably see a thousand yards down through there. I mean, it's, it's pretty long. All right. All right, guys. That is 203 Pawn Court. I will download these uh, these videos as soon as I get back to the office and send them over to you as soon as I can. Um, I'm trying to make some appointments for some of the homes that are occupied right now. So as soon as they confirm our showing appointments, I'll definitely send those videos to you as well. Um, but uh, give me a call if you guys got any questions, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.